This video describes the procedure for lubricating the worm and gear on the Paramount ME robotic telescope system. The items you'll need include a quality artist paintbrush with the bristles cut to about 3 8 inch length so that they're stiff, a 3 32nd Allen wrench to remove the worm gear covers, some paper toweling or other soft cotton cloth to remove excess grease, You'll want Lubriplate Lubri Motor Assembly Grease Series 105. This is a, a good all temperature grease. And you'll need the Paramount ME connected to the Sky 6. From the Sky, click Telescope Link Establish. And then click Telescope Options More Settings to display the More Settings for Paramount ME dialog box. On the Homing Limits tab, step one is to home the right ascension axes. Click the right ascension option and then click the Home Axis button. Step two is the Declination Axis. Click this option and then click the Home Axis button. Step three is to enter the number seven into the Count text box. And then finally, step four is to click the Slew Between Limits button. Now we're ready to start removing grease. The procedure we just followed will cause the Paramount ME to slew between the maximum slew limits in the right ascension axis so that you can use the stiff bristles of an artist brush to begin removing the grease from the worm gear as demonstrated here. Take care not to insert the bristles too far into the worm so that they get caught between the worm and the gear. Uh, use your hand to steady the, the brush against the mount. You can see the blobs of grease that accumulate on the brush as you press the brush into the teeth of the worm and then use the paper toweling or cotton cloth to remove this grease. We entered the number 7 in the set slew limits text, which means that the mount will slew between the maximum limits 7 times. This gives us enough iterations to remove all the grease for the first three slew limit operations and then add the grease for the remaining slews. Now that the old grease has been removed, we're ready to begin adding grease. Using a dollop of the Lubriplate Motor Assembly Grease Series 105 and the Artist Brush, begin applying grease to the worm as the Paramount ME continues to slew from limit to limit. Once again, for the seven slew limits, the first three or four should be used to remove the grease and the last three should be used to add grease. At this point you will be finished and the main worm and gear should be sufficiently lubricated along the entire um, usable gear interface surface. Follow the same procedure to lubricate the declination worm and gear. However, you'll want to disengage the right ascension worm from the right ascension gear so that the right ascension axis does not move when you are lubricating the declination axis.
So how do you know when you're done? Just once it stops. You just put it on for like for five minutes or so and then Okay. So this he said it won't hurt to have extra. Okay. As long as you get it so it's not just in blobs on the RA gear. Okay. Then it's probably fine. As you are doing this. To summarize, use Luberplate Motor Assembly Grease Series 105. It's available from any auto parts store and works well over a wide range of operating temperatures. Use a quality artist's brush to add and remove the grease. Inexpensive brushes may lose bristles, which we do not want. Under normal operating conditions, you should need to replace the grease about once per year if you use your mount for survey astronomy and it's being slewed around all night every night you may consider more frequent replacement if you have additional questions about greasing your paramount visit www.bisc.com forward slash me and search for the word grease <laughs>